So the baby looks great. Okay. Everything's fine, and you guys can go home today. Great. Uh, before you leave, I have a couple more questions to ask you, just things that I ask everyone before they go home. Okay. Is there anyone in the house who smokes or uses any kind of tobacco products? Well, <clears throat> my boyfriend, he's a smoker, and I used to smoke before I found out I was pregnant. Ooh, were you able to quit when you were pregnant? I did. Once I found out, I stopped smoking. Oh, that's great. That was really good for you and really good for your baby. But you said your boyfriend smokes. Um, where does he go when he smokes? Well, he usually goes out on the front stoop, and sometimes he smokes in the kitchen, but with the window open. And I told him now that we have our baby, he's going to have to go outside. And I don't want to start smoking again, but I know it's going to be kind of hard with him still smoking. Right, so that is hard, but it's great. So you've quit, mm -hmm. and you don't want to start again, and you don't want the baby around smoke, and that's all really, really good. Um, you probably know that being exposed to cigarette smoke is really bad for babies. It can increase the number of colds they get, the coughs, the ear infections, even asthma. Mm -hmm. So it'd be really good to keep smoke away, but in order to do that, you can't let anyone smoke in the house at all, or in the car, or even right outside the house with an open window or a door or a fan or anything that would bring the smoke back in. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, it makes me not want to smoke at all. <laughs> I definitely don't want him to smoke around our son, but I know him and he won't want to go outside when the weather is bad. Right, so um, you obviously are motivated to continue not to smoke, but you're right, it may be really hard for him. So I have this pamphlet for you. If it would be helpful, you could show it to him and it might be able to start the conversation. It has information about why cigarette smoke exposure is bad for babies. Okay. Um, and on the back is the phone number of something called the Maryland Quit Line. Okay. And he can call that number and there are people there who can talk to him, even if he's just starting to think about quitting. Or if he really wants to quit, they can help him. They can help get nicotine replacement for him if he wants the patch or something like like that. And even better, if you start to feel the urge to smoke, yeah. you can call them and they will help you try to avoid that. So I can give you this. Thank you. I'll take this. And then you guys will come back in two weeks to the office for us to see the baby. Okay. And we really like for, the, um, for both parents to be there. So if you can make the appointment when he's available, that would be perfect. And then we could follow up on this and everything else. Right. Thank you, doctor.